Hello, welcome to this WordPress tutorial on how to export Gravity Forms form entries to an Excel spreadsheet. So, we've got a couple forms here. We're going to be dealing with this example form for the contact form. Take a quick look at what the form looks like. It's got name fields, email uh, information, phone inf uh, field, and a drop down option with a few options. Uh, comments box and a captcha which doesn't work but that's not pertinent to what we're discussing here so to first step to kind of get the export kind of uh, set up going is to first click on import export underneath this form entries you can by default be on the export entries option so you're already in the spot you need to be then you're gonna select the form as exam and we're gonna do the example form in this case then you're presented with all these fields. So basically from this comments box all the way up top, those are actually form fields that live inside the form. Everything below that is kind of um, a part of every export or you could make it a part of your export that Gravity Forms produces. So I'm not gonna go through each one, but I just want maybe a few important ones like the date, that's probably gonna be one that you'll need, source URL, where, what URL did they fill out the form? You may have this form on 50 different pages. You wanna know where it came from, from a corresponding entry. Um, and then these are just all payment uh, fields. If you have this form uh, with a payment gateway integrated, such as PayPal or Stripe or something to that extent, you may wanna select those options, but let's, and then the other one will be user IP. You may or may not want to know what IP address they came from. So it gives you kind of some indication of where on the globe they submitted this from, but it's not always the most accurate thing as you will always find with IP addresses. In this case, we're just going to select everything so we get it all in one sheet, even though some of these will come up blank. The next spot I want to point to is what's called conditional logic. Basically what conditional logic allows you to do is if you have a need to export certain entries uh, governed by rules you dictate, you could do so. And what do I mean by rules that you dictate? Well, let's just show you what that means. If you, for example, wanted to come to this, how did you find out about us and only export the people that selected Google on that form, you could do that. Now, backing up just a second, this is kind of the global rule first you should pay attention to. Right now I'm saying if all of these different rules match, then export, then give me those, those users that filled out the, those entries, I should say, for the form. Uh, but you can also hit any. So if I have more than one rule and say, I want people with the first uh, name of Tom. Right now what I'm saying is if I have anybody who filled out the form that selected Google and anybody who put the, who has the first name Tom then go ahead and produce those results uh, so it's just any so it, if I hit all it has to be I'm forcing it to be all the people with the name Tom and all the people that selected Google so any is either or you know I want all the people that select Google but if somebody named David also selected Google that's cool too or uh, you know so that kind of gives you an indication of what that does. And you can set up as many of these rules as you want. And then uh, keep in mind that uh, you also have this, people who did not select Google, for example. Uh, if you have a number system, if, you, you know, one if you've got a number field greater than, less than, so on and so forth. You can also select the date range. Maybe you want it for the last month, for example. You can input that here. And when all is uh, finished off here, all you gotta do is click download, and it will export the entry into a CSV with every column that corresponds. That's as simple as that. All right, thank you for joining us here. Please like this video if it, you found it beneficial, subscribe to this channel, uh, and make sure to hit the bell option to be notified uh, on new videos that we release. Thank you so much for joining us.